Sezeni, we are Nipela. We are the Temban. We are in this old Lilambazi. Is as in Paul. Katunga po our queue. What queue to one good to Galale? Usa Sugila Catesa and Dicha would to porridge the Lia Vutaling in Dow. I be an Indian Adil. Puma Catesa, Puma just eating Ogus in what? Ozan. Hi, welcome to the show. Uh, Prince Sivala Mahlang here. It's your first time on McGree's uh, Made Me Cook. Please uh, subscribe and also turn on the bell notifications and let's be one family as we document Africa's diverse food culture. So the first dish that my grandmother told me was to cook porridge and this was the dish that brought everyone together. It was the first meal of the day that brought everyone together. So it was important in the sense that uh, you have to start with your affirmations. So it was nice also as family school, uh, we used to gather around and start saying uh, the affirmations and, and, and so on. So it is very important uh, dish that I love to, to cook. So in today's episode, I am going to show you five options that I've learned at home and also some of the options that I've learned uh, traveling uh, across here in Zimbabwe. So the presentation of this video will be based on the grains and the fruits used in making porridge. The first dish is known as Isatiana and is the most favored cereal among the younger boys, usually prepared after they've completed their milking rounds. It is very similar to its sister cereal called Amashaga. Oh, I love Amashaga. This was the first cereal prepared from the crow. Amashaga apewa ngutako lengomo esanda uguzala. Amashaga, unlike Isatiana, was only eaten by boys. The same milk used in preparing Amashaga is taken to cook Isatiana. The only difference now is with Satyana is an addition of a grain, be it sorghum, pearl millet, finger millet, or maize meal. Utago lutelwa embizeni lukokos ebuze wuchie kupose gufane la masi anasaranana. The fresh cream is then separated from the milk and amashaga is then prepared thereafter. Isatiana sona, si pewa mtago lengomu esi palisa ugushambulu. Interestingly, Isatiana si jiwa ngabafana la manto mazana ama nyanyane gupela. Unlike amashara, which is only eaten by boys. So when cooking Isatiana, which is done by the kettle crow, a fire is created by the side of the crow. For the dish, add heated milk to your sorghum powder or maize milk or any type of grain that you would like to utilize. You can still use finger millet, upoho, zuyo, or any other grain that you want, even wheat in Moloi Ia Sebenzala, to produce a paste. Bring it to a bowl while stirring concurrently as you add the hot milk. Reduce the heat as soon as it starts to boil. Cover the pot and let it simmer for 15 minutes. You may keep checking the consistency of the porridge until it's within the right frame. Assuming Lee is was given to boys and girls as an appreciation of their work in looking after the cattle. Boys mostly doing this task. An interesting feature is that since this dish was mostly prepared within the crawl, it was crucial or it is crucial for one to prepare a fire guard. But it's by asking a bamba only long for almost six months in most cases. So preparation of fire guard 
it's very important that Ispire remains standing. As times have changed, some of us are now residing in the urban areas. Cooking isatiane can be done nonetheless. You can buy a pint of fresh milk by the shops, heat it up and then prepare a paste by the side. When the milk has started to boil, add in your sorghum powder or maize milk and stir continuously. Reduce the heat and let it simmer for 15 minutes. Your porridge is ready. Serve with love. And remember, you can have Isatiyane at any time of the day. In the context of urban areas, when we cook Isatiyane, it means we are able to uphold the cultural connotations underpinned in this kettle crawl dish. Next time we go to the shops, don't forget to buy your milk to cook Isatiyane. Maize uh, arrived uh, with the Portuguese traders, as it is claimed, uh, around the 17th century here in Southern Africa. So the interesting part now is that this maize has grown to be the staple of food across several countries here in Southern Africa. So this makes this grain, uh, or the porridge cooked from this grain, uh, as the widely cooked uh, type of porridge here in Southern Africa. So when you're cooking now this porridge, you would need minimal which will be taken from grinding that grain. Um, then you would place uh, water by, by the stove. So you can utilize the ratio of one is to three cups. But this also is dependent on the type of maize mill that you're going to use. Put the boiling water on the stove. Then on the side, we attach just umkanwe ngup or any other plate or even a cup and add the minimal there. Then add cold water uh, equivalent to the cup that you had filled there. This is to reduce the likelihood of the formation of clams, amakum. It's not a nice thing when you're cooking porridge and you have that. So when the water is boiling, you now add your paste uh, to the water, then you stay continuous, uh, suko course. Um, then let that cook for 20 minutes uh, and also reduce the heat uh, towards completion of uh, the dish. So 20 minutes to cook this porridge. The third grain is re regarded typically as an expensive grain. Um, we call this zuyo in Chishona or upo in Sindebel, finger millet in English. So now the porridge that's made from this type of grain, if you see the color, it is a dark brown color. So zuyo, upogo, uh, uh, finger millet, uh, when you cook that is the final product, you find it's like a dark brown color. So it's, it's one of the, it, it is the smallest grains. Uh, when you look at the classifications of uh, grains. So uh, generally the process is just the same with all the five grains. It's the creation of a paste by the side. Uh, then you add in your cold water. Then there's a pot there that's with boiling water. Uh, after the water, after the water has reached that boiling state, you add a uh, upo to the dish, then you stay continuously. Now, since it's a small grain, this takes between 25 and 30 minutes to cook. I like 30 minutes so that uh, the fiber within the grain is easily dissolvable once, uh, once you start eating it. Fourth option now uh, is a combination of a fruit and a grain. Um, the fruit is called busika, uh, tamarai. Uh, and the grain is in your wood, but also you can utilize either of the maize, sorghum, and um, in upo for this. So now I, I learned this within the areas of Wangipinga, where this plant is common. So busika, what you do now, you need to extract the juice and combine with the grain that you're going to cook the porridge with. So there are two options to do this now when you're extracting. There's an overnight process. So this overnight process, uh, you take your wusika and place it into a bowl or even just a container. Then you pour cold water just to cover above the surface where you put your wusika. Then they just take it, just put it in a place and that will like generate that, uh, that juice overnight. Or if you're in a rush, what you can do is just pour water and add the boiling water to the busik that you can leave also there for 45 minutes. Then after that, what you need to do now is that juice is one that's used in combining with pearl millet in Yawut in Zembe. Um, why it's, uh, I'm referring to pearl millet? Because when I learned this dish, 
uh, it was a combination of that of those two. But you can, like I said, Ella, you can add in Upo uh, or your finger minutes. So let, let's look at the fifth option, which I learned in Baybridge. Um, shout out to any viewer who's from the beautiful town of Baybridge uh, and also across Limbobo, Toya No. So if you look at uh, Baobab, which is Africa's calcium food, produces uh, a, a very healthy powder and also that's also used to make an incredible type of juice. I've seen also some entrepreneurs who are now selling that Baobab juice here around the country. It's very, very clear, very intelligent. A smart move there. So when you are now preparing this, this is the fifth type where you take that powder of baobab and you can combine with any type of grain that you want. Or in other places, also in Wangen, also Binga, actually that is cooked on its own. You have a potty that's cooked 100% from the powder of the baobab. Uh, utilizing the other grain means you can actually get best of both worlds. So any type of the other four grains that we have mentioned you can actually that i've mentioned you can actually combine with this so you take your powder by the side prepare your paste add in the cold water when it boils you now just transfer your paste uh, there sometimes you find there are still seeds uh, if you just say you can the wooden mixer uh, is do that uh, thoroughly so that the two grains can sort of like combine uh, very well. But anyway, thank you for watching. My name is Prince Ivalo uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Remember, keep the love, uh, keep the wound. Togos.